Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about Camp Algorithm Phase 2. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So in the phase 1, I explained about the Camp Algorithm, how that the candidate solution cube will be generated. And from that, how we can generate that the essential prime cubes also. So in the phase 2 algorithm, we determine that the selective prime cube. So obviously the selective prime cubes are generated by the mean terms that remain uncovered by this essential prime cubes. That is here we get that selective prime cube which is uncovered by that essential prime cubes. So the algorithm takes up these mean terms one by one in ascending order of their degree of adjacency which have already calculated in phase 1. So let us consider the switching function f3 as shown in this figure here we have. So here in the phase 1 the mean term 3 with a degree of adjacency is 2. So finds this essential prime cube as 0, 2, 2, 1. That is nothing but here a dash d. So here this 0 representing that a dash and here 1 represents that d and 2, 2 which are eliminated variables. So here the mean term 3 which gives that the essential prime cube as 0, 2, 2, 1. That is nothing but a dash d. And next one, the mean term 9, here we have then, so which has a degree of adjacency is 2, which produces that the essential prime cube as 2, 2, 0, 1, that is nothing but here we have C dash D. And the mean term 10 with a degree of adjacency is 1, which produces that the essential prime cube, that is 1, 2, 1, 0. So here we have that 1, 2, 1, 0 is there. So A, C and we have D dash. Simply we can say that A, C dash. So these three essential prime cubes cover all the mean terms except here this 15. So the candidate solution cube generated by this mean term 15 has the following form that is 2, 1, 2, 2. So let us see that the candidate solution cube which is generated by that mean term 15. So here this 15 is represented in the binary form as 1, 1, 1, 1. So now change this the variable position A that is from 1 to 0 we will get that 0 1 1 1 that is nothing but 7 and uh, change this uh, C variable that is from 1 to 0 so that we got that 13 and change this D variable from 1 to 0 we got that 14. So the candidate solution cube which is generated by this uh, 15 is 2 1 2 2. So here in this K map we consider mean terms only that is for the 15 the adjacent mean terms are 7 13 and 14 only and this 11 we are not considering because here this is not within this function f3 so that is why this 11 is not considered we considered only 7 13 and 14 so that is why here we are representing this b term is not changing from 1 to 0 so from this we will get that candidate solution cube as 2 1 2 2 so here we have 2 1 2 2 is there within the direction 7 13 and 14. We note that the adjacency in the position of uh, first two so is in the direction of 7 and uh, for the next two it is in the direction of 13 and for third two it is in the direction of 14. So also it can be seen from the map that the largest cube that cover 15 is obtained by expanding in the direction of 7 and at 13 and discarding the direction of 14. That is this 15 min term can be expanded in the direction of 7 and 13 and discarding this 14 so that we will get the a largest cube. So in the place of this 2 here we will replace it as 1 so that we will get that the cube as 2 1 2 1. So here this can be represented as a, a selective prime cube which is given as 2 1 2 1. So by using this following procedure within the cube we got that 2 1 2 1 that is nothing but the mean terms 5 7 13 and 15 are covered. So this is as a, a selective prime cube to cover this mean term 15. And next the theorem 4.6.3. So a mean term me can be executed from the candidate solution cube generated by the mean term mg by discarding a 2 in the 8th position of the candidate solution cube that is by replacing the 2 by the original bit at the 8th position of this mg so that is uh, what we are discussed here that is the same thing here this theorem 4.6.3 is explaining to implement this theorem we construct 
faster the matrix of absentee mean terms simply we can call it as a mam and then an exclusion matrix that is em by computing by computing the exclusive or operation between the bie and big for all the mean terms of the matrix of absentee mean terms under all twos of this candidate solution cube so we will discuss this one by seeing an example so that you can understand very easily so here we have another example is there so here the function fi is there it is a, a five variable function and these are the summation of this mean terms and the k map which is plotted for this five variable function like this so in this function we have that five essential prime cubes are there so the first one is that 0 1 2 2 and 2 1 0 0 1 and next one 2 double 0 2 0 and 2 1 2 1 0 and finally we have 2 0 2 1 1 so these are all that essential prime cubes so here we will see that the exclusion matrix with the adjacency directions so here we will take that the mean term mg as 0 1 0 1 1 that is nothing but 11 and uh, adjacency directions if you see this one within this function f5 we have the mean terms 0 from 2 to 7 and from 9 to 16 18 19 23 25 26 and 30 are there so here if you see this one we have 3 15 9 and 10 and 27 is there because this mean term 11 will cover the the directions 27 3 15 9 and 10 but here within a given function the 27 mean term is not there so here this mean term 3 15 9 10 are present within a given function f5 so that they are present so we make a tick mark and this 27 will not make a tick mark because here this 27 is not present so for this mean term 11 the candidate solution key is given as here as it is this 0 is replaced here and 1 0 1 1 in the place of these at this place of these binary values will represent as 2 next we will go for matrix of absentee mean terms so within this function within this function the mean terms are absent those mean terms are 1 and 8 so here the matrix of absentee mean terms which are given as 1 and 8 so which are represented in the binary form 0 0 0 0 1 and here we have 0 1 0 0 0 now we will go for that exclusion matrix so here we have that exclusive or operation is there so here we have to calculate that the exclusive or operation so here uh, this mean term is not present that 27 is not present so this 0 will not be considered so that in the exclusion matrix we will put a, a dash mark and after that we will do exclusive or operation so 1 with uh, this 0 we will get 1 and again 1 with uh, this 1 we will get exclusive or operation as 0 and again 0 with 0 we will get 0 and again 0 with 0 we will get 0 and here this 1 exclusive or operation with uh, this 0 so that we will get 1 and here again this 1 exclusive operation with this 0 will get that 1 and next this 1 exclusive or operation with this 1 and 0 so that we will get 0 and 1 correspondingly so now we have to discard operation so from the exclusion matrix we find the minimum number of columns that will be excluded all the absentee mean terms so from this function f5 for this column that is nothing but the mean term 9 column here if these two are discarded that is in the place of this 2 if you place this 1 then so the mean terms 1 and 8 will be excluded so here hence if the third 2 is discarded we exclude the both the mean terms 1 and 8 and get the largest cube as 0 2 2 1 2 there is nothing but a dash t so for excluding this 1 and 8 mean terms here we are replacing in the direction of 9 this 2 as 1 so that here we will get a, a largest cube that is nothing but 0 double 2 1 2 a dash d it is called as a, a solution cube and next consider another example that is the function f6 which is given as a, a four variable function as a summation of the mean terms plus summation of another mean terms so here this is the k map which is represented for this f6 function so let us go for the definitions 4.6.3 and uh, 4.6.4 here we have that 
two mean terms will be there one is adjacent mean term and another one is that distant mean term in the adjacent mean term in a candidate solution cube of dimension alpha generated by a mean term mg a mean term having a distance that is number of positions uh, where one mean term has a, a zero or one and other mean term has a either one or zero of one from that uh, mean term mg is an adjacent mean term there is nothing but a uh, simply the value of uh, zero changing from zero to one of that mean term mg so that it will becomes a an adjacent mean term and uh, all other mean terms having a distance greater than one are called that uh, distant mean terms so within this example this 15 and 7 so just we are changing the position from 1 to 0 then the adjacent mean term for the 15 is 7 so see here here we have so the adjacent mean term for this 15 is 7 so there is uh, what he given within this uh, definition and next definition 4.6.4 in a candidate solution cube of dimension alpha generated by a mean term mg there is only one mean term that has a distance alpha from the mg this uh, distant mean term will be called the opposite mean term that is it is quietly opposite to that the mean term mg which is called as a opposite mean term and next another uh, definition is there there is nothing but matrix of uh, uncovered mean terms simply we can call it as a mum so in a cam2 therefore the algorithm is so modified that all the uncovered mean terms in a candidate solution cube except the opposite one are covered so irrespective of whether they are adjacent or distant so for this reason a matrix of uncovered mean terms there is nothing but mum is constructed so for the function f6 what we discussed in the previous example of figure 4.6.4 that is here this is the uh, figure 4.6.4 so for this function f6 shown in the table augmented candidate solution cube so this is shown in the table so the following theorem is then applied to identify the tools which must be retained if we want to cover all the mean terms of matrix of uncovered mean terms so this one by seeing that example you can understand very easily so another one is there the theorem 4.6.4 so to cover a mean term mc that is the matrix of uncovered mean term in the candidate solution cube generated by a mean term mg each of the twos of the candidate solution cube in the eighth position must be retained if uh, the exclusive or operation of these values that is bic exclusive or operation with uh, big that should be equal to one so then only it will be retained otherwise it will not be retained this theorem 4.6.4 and the matrix of uncovered mean terms and the definitions 4.6.3 and 4.6.4 all these you can understand by simply studying this example so here we have the table 4.6.4 is there so here from the function f6 we are considering the mean term as 7 and this is represented as 0 1 1 1 in the binary form and next we will go for that adjacency directions so for this 7 the adjacency mean terms are 15 3 5 6 from the function f6 so here for this mean term 7 the adjacency mean terms are here we have 15 5 and 6 are there and 3 is not present in the function f6 so here in the place of this we will represent simply as 1 and those mean terms which are present here just we given a tick mark and the candidate solution cube for this one is given as so in the zero place we will place it as 2 and here this mean term 3 is not there within the function f6 so here that one is replaced as same as 1 and this one is replaced by 2 because this phi is there within the function f6 and same as this one is replaced by 2 because the 6 is also there within the function f6 so the candidate solution cube is given as a 2 1 2 2 and next uh, we will go for that the matrix of uncovered mean terms so within the given function f6 5 and 13 these mean terms are not covered within the given function f6 and this 5 is represented as in the binary form 0 1 0 1 and this 13 is also represented as 1 1 0 1 so here this 3 mean term is not there so in the place just we will make it as a uh, dash in the inclusion matrix so within this inclusion matrix just we will go for the exclusive operation between this 0 and this 0 so that we will get that 0 
and next one again this zero with that one you will get that one and here this one exclusive operation with zero so that we will get one and again this one is exclusive operation with this one so you will get one and here also same thing one with one exclusive operation zero and one with this one and this one with exclusive operation with this one and this one so that we will got zero and zero so here by applying this 4.6.4 theorem it can be seen from that inclusion matrix that the twos in the direction 15 and 5 that is here we have uh, 15 and 5 is there so within the directions must be retained to cover the mean terms 15 and 5 here so here by applying theorem 4.6.4 it can be seen from the inclusion matrix so here this im is nothing but that inclusion matrix that the twos in the direction 15 and 5 must be retained to cover the mean terms 15 and 5 so here if you see this one we have uh, the mean terms uh, 15 and 5 must be covered so for that one must be retained this mean terms 5 and 15 because we are taking that the mean term mg so in order to cover this 5 and 15 mean terms so these two mean terms must be retained so that is why here we are making a, a tick mark for this uh, 15 and 5 directions and here there is no direction for 3 and 6 because we are not considering so that is why we are going for retaining operation for these directions 5 and 15 and next we will go for that augmented candidate solution so these twos are therefore augmented to 3 because here we are expanding into the direction 5 and 13 so this 2 and this 2 are replaced by 3 and 3 which is called as a augmented candidate solution cube now the matrix of absentee mean terms and exclusion matrix are computed so now this matrix of absentee mean term here uh, 14 is uncovered and for exclusion matrix we are using this 14 so here the matrix of mean term 14 is there we are representing the binary form 1 1 1 and 0 so here uh, after that we have to construct this exclusion matrix under twos of that augmented candidate solution cube so here from these twos only we have to go for that exclusion matrix so in the place of this three we have to place this dash and here also we have to put the dash and we have to put the dash in the five direction also so here dash 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 so here again we'll go for the same operation that is the exclusive or operation for the function f6 so here this mean term mg exclusive or with this uh, matrix of uncovered mean term that is the zero so that we will got that one here and now the one row exclusion matrix of function f6 indicates that the two in the direction of six must be discarded to exclude the mean term 14 so here we have to discard the this mean term 14 so for that purpose we have to exclude the direction in the 6 so within this example to exclude the 14 mean term here we have the 14 is there so to exclude this mean term 14 here in the direction of 6 we have to put a, a cross mark that is we can exclude the mean term 14 so from this we will get a, a valid selective prime cube that is 3 1 3 1 that is here in the place of 2 simply we are replacing it as 1 so the solution cube we will get as uh, by replacing these 3 again by 2 so here we will get the 2 1 2 1 this is the solution cube so from this we will get for the function f6 here we have the mean terms are 2 and 11 those are the solution cube that is uh, 0 2 2 0 and other one is that 1 2 1 1 and another uh, mean term is there that is the 7 which has the degree of adjacency is 3 so that can be represented as a solution cube as 2 1 2 1 so the function f6 uh, has a two essential prime cubes and one selective prime cube so this is about the camp algorithm phase 2 or simply we can call it as a camp 2 algorithm so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education